Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will see how to type faster in IntelliJ. So let's go to IntelliJ and get started. So first of all, I want to talk about navigation. So suppose that we have this statement over here and we want to move the cursor to this point, okay? So how do we do this using the keyboard? I'm going to put the cursor at the end of the line and of course we can use the arrows, right? But we want to have a faster way. So if you hold the control button and start using the arrows, you will see that this moves word by word and not letter by letter. So this is faster. Also, let's put the cursor at the end of the line. Now suppose that we want to go to the beginning of the line. I want you to locate the home button on your keyboard. On some computers, in order to be able to click the home button, you have to press the function button or it is also called Fn. So on my computer, I will press Fn plus the home button and as you can see, the cursor is now at the beginning of the line. And also, if I want to get to the end of the line, I will press Fn and the end button. So I will get to the end of the line, okay? Now suppose that you want to go to the beginning of the file. So press the page up button and as you can see, the cursor is now at the beginning. And if you want to go to the end, press the page down button, all right? Now the cursor is over here. So press it again and you will be at the end of the file, all right? So I'm going to go up again, all right? Now suppose that you want to move this bar without using the mouse. So all you have to do is to hold the control key and use the down and up arrows, as you can see, okay? Now this is all about navigation. Okay, now what if I want to go to this class without using the mouse? So all you have to do is to hold the alt key and use the right and left arrows, all right? So as you can see, this is faster. Now let's talk about selection. Suppose that I want to select this code over here. So how to do this using the keyboard? First of all, the cursor is over here and I want you to hold the shift key. Now use the right arrow in order to start selecting some text. So as you can see, now we are navigating. So for example, I can also hold the control button and now I will start to select word by word as you can see. And also I can hold the shift key and press the end key in order to select until the end of the line. And suppose that the cursor is over here and I want to select all of this line. So I will hold shift and then I will press Fn and home button. And as you can see, I selected the whole line, okay? Now suppose that I want to select this comment over here also. So hold shift and the up arrow and it is also selected. And what if you want to select from over here to the beginning of the page? So hold shift and press the page up button, all right? So you can combine navigation with the shift button and you will start selecting some text. Now let's talk about indentation. As you can see, the cursor is over here. So if you press the tab button, it will leave four spaces. Have a look over here. It says four spaces. So click on that. And over here we have configure indents for Java. And over here you can change the tab size, okay? But I recommend that you keep it four, okay? Now let's exit this. Now suppose that by accident you put many indents and you want to go back. So you can use the backspace. So now the cursor is over here. But what if I want to get over here? If I use the backspace again, it will get me to this line. And I don't want that. So what you can do is press the shift and tab buttons. So have a look. I'm now going back indent by indent. All right. Now let's talk about duplicating code. So suppose that we have this statement over here. And I want to write it again. So we don't have to write everything from scratch. We can duplicate it. So put the cursor anywhere on this line and press Ctrl D. So as you can see, it is duplicated. And you can duplicate it as much as you want. And also, as we saw before, you can cut the lines using Ctrl X. So for example, let me put the cursor over here and I will start pressing Ctrl X. So I'm cutting the lines, all right? Now let's talk about adding and removing comments. So we have this code over here. Suppose that I want to comment this line. So put the cursor anywhere and press Ctrl and forward slash. And as you can see, this line is now a comment. And also, you can select multiple lines and press Ctrl forward slash. And now both of these lines is now commented. And to remove the comment, press Ctrl forward slash again. And if you are asking how I selected the two lines, I simply press Shift and the down arrow, all right? So now let's talk about moving a piece of code. And we saw this before. So for example, I will select these two lines and I'm going to hold Shift and Alt and I will use the up and down arrows. And as you can see, I'm able to move the code. Finally, 
let's see how we can select a code block so suppose that I want to select the code between this brace and this brace alright so put the cursor anywhere and start pressing ctrl w as you can see it selects the code press ctrl w again and it will select all the code block as you can see and if you press it again it will select all the main method press it again and again and again and now it will select the code block of the class and if you press it again it will select all the class all right so this is it i wanted to give you these skills because it is very important as a developer and you will see me using them throughout the course a lot all right so this is it for this video and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching